Who's got my Lex Luger in the background? That's my boy Lex Luger. Good old WCW days back in the day. Want to do a quick video? You like my green hat? Hell yeah. All right. All right. I'll answer you in a second. Sorry about that. Just figured I'd go live. I want to go over something that a lot of you guys might not be aware of, okay? But you got to know this stuff because you got to be educated, especially when you're dabbing around with different hormones in your body um, because you can't always believe what people tell you. I'm just going to give it to you straight, all right? So uh, here's how it goes, all right? And a lot of people might not believe this, but this is the facts, okay? Number one, there are medical usage for gear, okay? And it's not just for muscle gain, okay? Uh, I want to say Anivar is used for burn victims. Uh, norandrolone decanate, that is used for people who are on HIV. There are different medical uses when it comes to gear. There are some types of gear or steroids that have no medical use whatsoever, okay? So if somebody is selling you something that's saying that it's human grade and it's 400 milligram testosterone or it's Trenbolone or Equipoise, then I can pretty much guarantee you that they're full of shit because there's no medical use for Trenbolone, okay? Trenbolone is used to increase beef efficiency. It is not, there's no medical use for Trenbolone, okay? So I'm not saying it's bad, you know what I mean? I always, I always harp on Trenbolone just because I've seen what that can do to people long term because it's so addictive because of how well it works but then a lot of times people throw out the side effects that go along with it. 400 milligram testosterone, the other downfall to 400 milligram testosterone or 500 milligram testosterone is it is going to be an extremely painful injection site, okay? You can't say to yourself, well, I'll just do half a cc and then I'll get twice as much out of the bottle. It doesn't work like that, okay? You're better off not going over 250 milligrams. I think for the most part, medical use testosterone is usually about 200 milligrams tops, okay? But the higher the milligrams, the more the injection site is gonna be painful, okay? Um, I'm just kind of throwing this one out there because obviously we do have the AOMED program and we're not gonna be able to basically prescribe somebody equipoise because that's not for human consumption. That is basically a equestrian equipoise, horse, equestrian drug that is used for race horses. It, has not, it doesn't have any type of medical use for a human, okay? But people do like to take it because the results that it gives. The, the other compounds that are out there, they're, they're old as shit. Like some of this, some of the anabolic compounds that are out there, like D-ball, I'm going to say that was around during World, World War II. I mean, they, they're very old compounds and they, they've been around for a while. And here's the difference between these compounds and SARMs is they've actually had some long-term studies done on them because they've been around for so long. Um, SARMs, Nobody's done any long-term studies on that shit. Nobody knows what that's going to do to people long-term. Whereas there is a understanding of what a lot of these anabolic compounds that are prescribed today to people, what they will do to somebody long-term. I can't emphasize this enough. You want to make sure that you have a doctor um, going over your blood work. You don't want to just start firing juice in your ass, especially if you're getting it from a shady source because, you know, I can't tell you that whatever you're getting might not be what you think it is. There's nobody regulating the black market. So you might have a bottle that says, you know, test 400, but it might be Trenbolone or it might be something that you didn't think it was, okay? It happens, all right, in the black market. That shit happens 100%. So to get a good peace of mind, I would recommend getting it from a reputable source, meaning a doctor. Why break the law if you don't have to? And um, you can definitely take part in that if you decide to be a part of our AOMED program. People are like, well, what, what are pro-hormones going to do in relativity to steroids or gear? It's this simple, guys. It's going to give you the same type of effects. It's just not going to give you at the same percentage, okay? Like a pro-hormone is going to do the exact same thing to you that an anabolic compound is going to do to you. It's just because you're taking it and it's turning it uh, into a hormone in your body, you're going to lose a lot of that anabolic effect. But on the flip side, because the, the pro-hormones that we have are non-methylated, it's not going to beat the shit out of your body quite as bad, okay? So 
I mean, there's a lot of confusion when it comes because I've heard people, you know, say that, oh, yeah, they got their human grade trend blown. There's no medical use for that. So there's no way anybody's got human grade. Excuse me. Are, are your products Darns? They're not Darns. I think you're, what you're trying to say is SARMs. No, we, we do not sell SARMs. Um, I've, I've thought about that, but after researching it, I just didn't really feel comfortable um, I guess distributing things to people that had no medical use for a human being were not listed for human consumption um, and I didn't really see you know I didn't really think it was it didn't make me feel comfortable being able to give that to my customers I was taking SARMs and became allergic to because when I ate strawberries and pineapples burn my inside and blood this was a hospital yeah so I mean here's the thing I've always said don't take SARMs, take real gear. If you're gonna do it, take real gear. You can you could take something, I'd rather see somebody take Anavar than someone sit there and pop some SARM that has no medical use. Um, SARMs are just weak. Well, I mean, they're not really weak sauce, bro. I mean, they, they've, got, they've got some usage to them. The thing is, there's no long-term effects done on them. I mean, I would say, to be honest with you, pro-hormones are gonna be like mild down juice more so than a SARM. A SARM is a drug. Don't get me wrong, and some of the SARMs that they have listed are not even SARMs, they're peptides, okay? But they're all in the umbrella of the research chemical, okay? Whereas a pro-hormone is, that's already gone through human trials, there's already been studies done on those, and um, obviously they're, they're meant for human consumption versus a SARM that is not meant for human consumption. Um, and for the most part, it's breaking the law, so you might as well just either A, get your juice from the black market, or B, get it from a reputable source and have a doctor um, look at your blood work. Even if you were taking SARMs, I'd recommend getting your fucking blood work taken every three months at least because you don't want to make, you don't want to have something happen to you to where you're fucking your body up over, you know, having 19 inch arms or something. Yeah, so what's up, Lonnie? How's it going, man? Thank, I appreciate you, bro. Um, you know, so I, I just want to keep it real with you guys. Like, because a lot of times people come in the store and they think there's like a magic pre-workout that's going to get them huge or there's a magic pill in here that's going to get them huge. All this stuff is going to do for the most part. I always tell people, get real food, obviously, because if you don't have real food in your body, none of this shit's going to work. But if you're going to do it, you know, I would definitely, if you're starting out, I would definitely recommend try a pro-hormone first and work your way up. Thoughts on HGH? If I was, HGH is one of the big ones, I'd make damn sure I got that from a fucking doctor. There's so much bunk HGH out there in the black market, it's ridiculous. And a lot of times people, like the little blue tops, like a lot of people like to pass off the peptide version of HGH. It's not real HGH, it's the peptide version. It doesn't work nearly as good. Doing this never, true or false, thank you. No. Absolutely, James. You know, I try to just keep it real. You know, like if you if you're gonna do HGH, like I said, I would go through a doctor. You can have it prescribed to you. They're pretty lenient when it comes to HGH. Now they're not gonna prescribe you enough to turn into goddamn, you know, Ronnie Coleman or something. But they're definitely gonna prescribe you enough to where you're gonna be able to get an effect from it, and you're gonna know it's real HGH from a legitimate pharmacy, not someone's backyard. Okay, because there's I know that business inside and out on both ends and. Every time, you know, someone that takes real HGH, they can have a, they have a major difference as far as their results versus taking, you know, the peptide version or some shit that they're getting from China. I'm just being real with it, okay? Again, if you're getting testosterone, I would stay away from 400, 500 milligram testosterone. It's junk. Don't fucking take it. It's not going to be as effective as 250 because you're not going to be able to walk after you inject that shit, either in your shoulder or your ass. It is pretty much going to be debilitating. If anybody who's ever taken that before could definitely verify it. They're like, well, what the fuck? It's making my ass sore. Well, you've got too much of a ratio of powder to oil in that shot, and that's why it's going to make it painful. Just like test suspension. If anybody's ever tried test suspension, that shit is a bitch. You've got to have a huge ass gauge needle in order to even get it to pass through. And let me tell you, it's painful as a motherfucker. So... I don't really see how you're going to be able to get a good workout when you can barely walk. So, you know, stay away from four or 500 milligram testosterone. Stay under 300 milligrams for that. Again, I've always mentioned Trenbolone. It, that's, that's the devil it's because the results are very, very good. But yet the effects, the mood swings, it will give you mood swings. It will give you hair loss. It will give you acne. It will give you prolactin side effects. Okay. 
guaranteed. And a lot of times people, if they don't see the side effects, they're like, oh, well, it doesn't do any gyno. It doesn't convert into estrogen, but it does create prolactin in your body, okay? Do you know what prolactin is, people? Bueller. Prolactin is the hormone that's released when a woman becomes pregnant to tell her to produce breast milk. Now, you can take Winstrol to counteract it, but if you're taking Trenbolone, you're going to have some prolactin side effects, okay? That's when your body starts lactating, and I don't even want to get into that because it's fucking disgusting, especially thinking about a dude, okay? Um, so I'm just being real with you guys. If you've ever, you know, if you've ever been on Trenbolone and you've noticed that, that's what it is, okay? It will, over time, fuck your body up. It also fucks with your thyroid. It's not worth it. I know there's a lot of guys that swear by it. They take it. They love it. But I'm just telling you, I would do NBP. Thanks, man. On it. Or, Right. Joe, yeah, absolutely. You want to make sure you get it from a reputable source. I would. I like NPP. I do. I like NPP. The only thing with NPP is if you're taking finasteride, okay, which is the hair, the DHT block rate will increase your hair loss if you're on norangelone. So if you're someone that is not worried about your hair, NPP is the way to go. Uh, is it, it's not good with you, the thoughts on NPP. Okay, I'm not really sure what you mean, Joe. I'm trying to... Oh wow, someone's calling me. Sorry about that, guys. I gotta go to a dentist appointment as soon as I'm done with this video because I've had a toothache all weekend long. Let's see if I can get this going here. I've had a toothache all week long and, it, and I'm finally able to get to the dentist. But um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there, you guys, and make sure you guys are informed. Um, you know, pro hormones, if you're someone who's starting out, I would definitely recommend them. They're not going to fuck your body up. It's something you can kind of ease your way. It's kind of like going, it's like pro hormones are like a scat pack and then uh, anabolic compounds. That's like a hell cat. And then insulin, that's like a demon. You know what I mean? It's like if you're taking insulin and growth hormone and, 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 and steroids, that's almost like a demon to give you guys some perspective. So the best way to get your feet wet is to I would start off with the pro hormones, see what they do to your body. They're not going to beat the fuck out of your body nearly as bad as anabolic compounds. If you need another step, then go ahead and jump into the anabolic compounds. But you can get a fuckload of results from pro hormones, not just from my company. I can tell you right now, um, you know, pro hormones are, are they, they work and they don't fuck your body up nearly as bad. And if you're somebody who's not going to bother with blood work or anything, I can't really think of anybody that's ever had any issues with the today's pro hormones that's really fucked themselves up. So, because it's, you know, like I said, it's giving you about 70% of the results, but 10% of the side effects. So I just wanted to throw that out there, throw some of these uh, topics up there because it's fun to talk about. We're running a big badass sale right now. Please check it out on the site. If you're interested, hrtfast.com is where you can get prescribed legal year from a doctor. They will look over your blood work and they will prescribe you year, human grade year from a pharmacy. Okay. They will do it. All right. They're, they're, they're endocrinologists that are on staff that will work with you that know what they're doing because let's face it, your, your, your pediatrician or your fucking general practitioner is not going to be a hormone specialist. Okay. So you can get all this done on your phone, simply fill out the the quick form and then they'll get back to you and they'll get you started on getting this stuff legally instead of having to break the law and get it from China and God knows what you're really taking. So I hope you guys have a kick-ass, kick-ass week. I'll be back on here as soon as possible. Please call us or message me if you have any questions. Well, one cc a week of HGH, one cc a week? Are you fucking crazy, dude? HGH, you take that and I use, bro. You don't do one cc of, one cc of HGH. That's like insane amount um you do that in your stomach also um but i will say this james if you're looking for hgh i would recommend go through the hrtfast.com website tell them that's what you want and they'll prescribe it to you okay and they'll show you how to take it you don't put a cc of growth hormone anywhere around you you take i use which is like small amounts okay it's in batrostatic water and you put it in your stomach okay so that's i don't know where you got one cc i think maybe you're thinking one iu <laughs> but i hope you guys have a kick-ass week please contact us if you're interested in the sale let us know if you ordered let me know if you want a free t-shirt i'll fire it in there for free all right have a good one